Welcome back to Movie Plot Recap. Today, I'm going to explain a movie titled, Black Friday. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. A mart is shown at the start of the movie. Where Black Friday sales preparations were going on Thanksgiving Day. A worker in the store goes to make his section ready. He notices something weird there. That weird thing throws some white tentacles on the worker from its mouth. The worker changes into a zombie monster because of it. He also attacks the workers with him. Here the scene shifts and the main character of the movie Ken is shown. He comes to drop his daughters for celebrating Thanksgiving Day. But Ken's daughters want to celebrate Thanksgiving Day with their father. He didn't get a holiday because of the Black Friday sale. Like this, he will also lose his Thanksgiving bonus. The second character of the story Chris is shown. He was hygienic or maybe he was searching the sanitizer for him. His family was celebrating Thanksgiving Day. He couldn't join because he may have to go to the store for his job. Ken comes to pick Chris it is discovered they work at the same store. They see the same mart we saw at the start of the movie. They get shocked seeing how they can close the store on the day of the biggest sale. They reach their store after this. A man is shown saying to his wife he is not feeling good. There were weird changes in him. There was the preparation for Thanksgiving and Black Friday going on in Ken's store. The employees of the store are shown. A delivery man comes here and asks about the washroom from Ken. Ken tells him the path to the washroom and an employee is shown going out to smoking. Suddenly, the door closes. A strange thing attacks him. The scene cuts here and the other employees are shown. They were talking to each other. They were talking about their owner whose behavior wasn't good with them. Meanwhile, their owner arrives and gives them instructions for today's task. Later, a boy is shown he may have started a new job here. He talks to Ken and Ken gives him the courage to do his job calmly. The door of the store opens and the rush of the customer starts. Chris was sitting at the cash counter and was doing billing lazily. A lady customer who was standing there becomes furious at him. Meanwhile, his owner arrives and closes his counter. He asks him to clean the place. On another side, Ken calls a customer mad in his section. The old lady hears this and says to Ken she destroy this store. Ken ignores her. Later, the old lady sits in the center chair of the store the weird thing is shown under her chair. The thing which we saw at the start of the movie and looking like a monster or an alien. Chris notices a lot of blood on the floor and the man is also shown here. Who was saying to his wife that he is feeling strange. Suddenly, he attacks Chris. His face was looking like a zombie. He was also looking like a monster. Chris somehow saves himself from the man. Meanwhile, another lady attacks him. Chris hits the lady backward while hitting her. All things fall on that lady because of it. Another employee sees Chris but couldn't understand anything. That why he hit the lady? Two female employees lock Chris and ask him why he hit that lady. Chris tells them the lady has hit him before. Later, the boy is shown who has started his new job in the store. He sees a lady and asks her why is she sitting here like this. Meanwhile, the lady attacks him while taking the strange tentacles out of her mouth. But Ken arrives and hits the lady with a board. The lady doesn't feel anything and Ken comes to the store with the lady. Here, everyone knows there is something strange happening in their store. They say they can't call the police because of it their store can be closed. Ken tells them a lady customer has attacked him. Chris tells everyone there is something strange with customers that's why they are attacking everyone. During their conversation, the boy awakes and attacks his female employee. The female employee dies because of it. Everyone gets scared seeing this. The boy stands up who is now changed into a zombie or a monster. They were scared and try to call the other stores. None was attending their call and even none is attending the call in the police station. It is discovered this monster-like creature has affected the whole area. Their call connects to a store when they were trying to call. The employee tells them the customers are attacking everyone. They all have made a weird thing together. Hearing her, they get scared and talk about running from here. They come out and see the customers were beating each other. They were attacking each other. They were changed into a monster zombie. There was destruction in the store everywhere. Later, they talk about making different groups. They go in different directions. Ken starts searching for his whiskey bottle in the washroom on it. His manager gets angry. Why Ken places a whiskey bottle here? The bottle falls down and breaks. The monster who was sitting in the washroom awakes. He was the same delivery man who asked about the washroom from Ken at the start. Ken escapes from him hardly. A female employee sees through the camera the monsters were collecting the things. There was a huge thing that is absorbing everyone inside it. She gets scared seeing all this. She returns back from there. Later, they gathered and Ken was in anger. Because he couldn't contact his family. 
A female employee notices a police car near the main door. She was happy seeing that maybe the police have arrived to save them. The car comes inside directly and the female employee dies. They become afraid because of this. The path of the monster becomes open after this and an employee is shown escaping. Meanwhile, a lady monster arrives and divides him into pieces while ending him. Chris was seeing this and gets frightened. He comes to everyone into the save room and now everyone was sitting being tired. They were depressed. Here, they tell their stories to each other. They were emotional they weren't with their families. They were sad because of not celebrating Thanksgiving with their family. A female employee comes with some snacks and shares them with everyone. She says maybe they have to celebrate their Thanksgiving like this. Ken was worried about his family. Because he couldn't contact his family. The weird thing is shown grown bigger gradually. The aliens have gathered and become a huge thing. They were creating a huge, giant alien creature. On another side, when everyone was escaping a thing attacked Ken's hand. He feels like an alien has bitten him. Chris asks him to cut his hand. Like this, he will be saved. Later, they move while leaving Ken there. Ken waits for this but he wasn't changing into a monster. He was shocked by this and spends his time with the huge teddy. Then he discovers his manager has bitten him not any monster. So he will get separated from his group. Meanwhile, a huge female monster arrives and attacks Ken. Ken runs while escaping. He throws the teddy at a place. The place catches fire and it spreads gradually. He notices a locket in the monster's neck that the old lady had. He remembers the lady monster is that old lady. After this, he gets a message from his wife they are saved and he gets relaxed after this. Chris and the lady employee see the rooftop the thing was changing into a giant thing. Everyone tries to run from there. Later, they see the old lady was absorbing the thing inside her. They notice a huge monster of two faces comes out while breaking the rooftop. It becomes like this after absorbing everyone in it. The Mart's owner goes to the monster and asks it not to scare. Because I am with you but the monster throws him far. It ends him. The female employee and Chris were searching for an unlocked car to escape. They notice Ken also comes out while running. They apologize to each other and talk to run from there. Basically, this alien creature has come from another world. It was possessing everyone. They decide one will stop the monster and the other two will run from here. On it, Chris says I will stop this monster. But Ken refuses him. Chris sits in a truck and the monster attacks him with its tentacle. Chris removes the brakes of the truck. The truck hits the monster. The monster gets wounds. It also becomes furious. But till then the lady employee, Ken, and Chris sit in the car. Now they were leaving. The monster was watching them. They feel like maybe they are saved. When they look around the weird monsters were everywhere. Here the movie ends.